What's good, bro? How you doing? Good, man. How's everything with you? Doing good, doing good. Uh, first off, what motivated you to come out and support the Lupus Foundation? Um, has it had any direct effect on your life personally? Well, a lot of people know my mother suffers from lupus. Uh, she was diagnosed roughly when I was in the first grade. Um, you know, when I was able to, you know, be blessed to play in the NFL, uh, Lupus Foundation reached out. And, you know, they asked me to be active and. It was a no-brainer. I didn't know a lot about the, uh, the disease itself until I got here. You know, each year I learned more and more about the medication and uh, different things that are going on. So uh, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. It's been a long road, but uh, we're, you know, we had a great out, you know, turnout today. So Absolutely. awesome. If you know, at its core, is what's the message you want people to take from this event and about lupus in general? You know, it's it's weird because lupus is not one of those headline diseases. There's so much you hear about cancer, you hear about AIDS, you hear about leukemia, um, but there's so so many people that are affected by lupus. Um, so many young girls, so many families. Uh, you know, I was a kid that you know watched my mother go through the trials. So it's important that you raise awareness and you push the envelope. Um, you don't usually see a lot of lupus commercials. You know, you you see everything else going on, on TV, but you know this is something that hits home for me personally and for a lot of people. Have you done anything like this in the past? Yeah, this is going on my seventh year. I've done it since my rookie year. Uh, you know, we have the walk run skate, which is going on on Saturday. Uh, we have the women's luncheon. Uh, that's usually in the springtime. And the year, you know, we usually have other things going on. So uh, I try to stay re relatively active with it. Um, on a football tip, uh, is there any players ever needs to watch out for this year? Like any rookies that's really been uh, putting in work? I think um, you got to be excited about Chris Rainey. Uh, I'm running back. I think he's doing a great job with special teams. And letting them just, you know, he's, he's a lightning in the bottle. Um, okay. You know, obviously we're, we've got some good guys on the line. You know, Pouncey, uh, you know, Ramon, and, you know, uh, Max and uh, Gil. You know, we're all coming back strong. And, um, the sky's the limit for this team, honestly. You know, if, we, if we're able to stay healthy and uh, compete like I know we can, uh, we, should, uh, we should be in New Orleans soon enough. And um, this, this is kind of random, but do you play any fantasy football? Because I know a couple of pros who do. And, yeah. Uh, is that ever like a topic of discussion in the locker room? No, I'm not. I'm not a big fantasy football guy, man. I'm I'm boring, believe it or not. <laughs> People think I'm a rock star. I'm, I like to be by myself. You know, I, I, I you know I put all my my effort into my work and, uh, and deal with my family. So I, I'm not into all that stuff, believe it or not. Did you game at all? The new Madden's coming out. Did I'm not a Madden guy. I'm, I'm more like you know shooting games and. Uh, you know, basketball, I like playing basketball games, but out of that, you know, I'm, okay. my brother's the big gamer. If you see him, he'll tell you all about the games and stuff. Right on. What type of music do you listen to? Um, I love reggae. I'm big into reggae, soft reggae. You know, uh, Any specific artists? Uh, big fan. Of, I listen, I'm listening to Jay Bug right now, Sizzler, uh, Bougie Bonton. And, uh, you know, I, of course, I like hip-hop and what's catchy, but uh, when I want some chill time, I, I throw on some reggae. For sure. Yeah. Now, um... This year, the, the NFL, they changed all their jerseys to Nike. Right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, from Reebok last year. Right. Have you noticed any difference with that? Or does it make any difference to you, really? They, our new uniforms are pretty good. Uh, they're, they're new mesh material. You know, they got a bunch of stuff going on, man. You know, as long as it fits, and I, I don't look like an idiot at it. I wear it. So, uh, uh, but, you know, we're happy to have Nike and uh, let's go play football. Do you think, uh, being a Super Bowl champion, do you think fans set a, a higher standard for those players who, are, who have won championships in the past? Well, I think the standard is high for us because we're the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, if you, we're the, you know, we have the most Super Bowls. Uh, our, our fan base is, is, is I can't even, it's, it's weird. You know, everywhere I go, no matter the state I am, there's a Steeler bar or there's a Steeler fan somewhere. So, uh, um, just being a Steeler is a high standard. People expect the best from us. So, uh, that goes within itself. So what's your guys' plan to bring another championship back to the Steel City? Well, we got to stay healthy. You know, we have we have great individual talent. Um, we're very close as a team, as you can see. Um, and overall, we just have to flat out just get after guys and compete Sunday. Uh, we all have that desire to win. I know we're extremely competitive. If we stay uh, focused, you know, the sky's the limit for us. Absolutely. Well, we have on the sausage.com and the Outback Steakhouse, man. We appreciate it. Thank you, man. Appreciate Definitely. it. Appreciate it.